What's going on, YouTube? Today, I have the condensed VOD of our first store regional in Washington for this wave of events. It was held at Tabletop Village in Seattle, so if you're ever in the area, go check them out. There were some great games that were showcased on stream, and so I hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's go. They're going to start. Round one has started, you guys. I'm going to close this door for you. Okay. Low rarity leaders. These guys must be new. Actually, no. Tofu Dan, the guy on the bottom, is not a new player at all. He's a very experienced Yu Gi Oh player, and he's played One Piece since like OPO1. But yeah, this is an OPO1 leader matchup. You are right, though. Yeah. <laughs> he said, low rarity leaders <laughs> must be new to the game. Must be some Jimmies, bro. <laughs> Really fat dog. What's going on? Thanks so much for the follow. Are you in the online regional today, Roms? This guy hungry is the is the judge today for this event. Oh, and he ditches pudding. Okay. Nah. You saw King Kong Gatling? Really? What else is he running? What else unique is he running? Oh yeah, he has that Sanji. He was on the waitlist, but you played Rust till six eight. Yeah. You fucking psycho. Yeah, Hungry's a judge, dude. You're only playing low rarity leaders now just so people think you don't know what you're doing. Oh, it's for the... Oh, he's reading the card? It's a... Uh... <laughs> What's it called? Um... It's for the, the mind games. Ooh, he's gonna stack the top of his deck. Let's see if he has Jinbei. I, I see a Moria. I don't think I see Jinbei. I don't think I don't think I see a Jinbei. Your favorite is when they show up to regionals with the paper playmats and roll. <laughs> Oh, shit. I did that once for a tournament. I used the paper play. I posted on Twitter. Did it for the uh, for the memes. Your local store regional let Carrot win. So you're saying that you let Carrot win. Horn. What the fuck, dude? Actually, somebody was just talking about Carrot earlier. It was Curtis. This dude, Curtis, says that he he's doing pretty good with Carrot. You know it's so crazy, Horn. Um, I've lost a carrot on the sim. <laughs> on rank sim, I lost to a carrot. You're so sad that you play online today. Oh, oh, you didn't play in the in the store regional. Okay. What? What's your uh, what's your current ranking? Or what? What's your score? XO, right? XO with, uh, in the online. Yo, Roms, thanks so much for the tier one sub. Let's go. 3-1 just lost a mirror. What the fuck are you playing? You playing BY? Or what? Did you go onto the BY train for 08? Hey, Zoro's got two choppers out? Holy shit. Oh, okay. You're on the Luchi life for 08. Okay. Damn, that sucks. Bro, he's got two choppers, though. That's kind of lit. But Dofi's gonna swing seven if they use leader ability. So... Gonna go to Starbies with the wifey, okay. He's gonna swing seven. Seven leader ability, probably KO the chopper. Get me a latte, friend. 
Hey, good luck, Horn. Are you running what? What Luchi list are you? Are you running like the Kuzan one? <clears throat> Only a Weevil, huh? Wait, this is good for Zoro. This is good for Zoro, you guys. It's not not a crazy board yet. Three Dawn left. Is he gonna swing with the blocker, Dofi? I feel like he can't do much with the three Dawn. Kuzan one, no six cost brook. Oh, that's crazy. People are a while. I, I still think people are so crazy for no six cost brook and like no Boris in some of them. It's the wildest thing. But I hope I hope you can go X one, man. Just win out, win out all the other rounds. He does have a Dofi in hand. Ooh, he's gonna swing at the chopper, and then he's gonna play another Dofi from hand. Keep me updated, Horn. We'll be here for a while. Keep me updated. We got I think five rounds today. If it's thirty two people, right? 16 people is four rounds. Yeah, five rounds should be. This, mm, I'm trying to think, like, so far it's not terrible for Zoro, but they just don't have a ton of cards in hand. So uh, they just got to keep applying that pressure. We need to get some more hits on this chopper. This turn's gonna be a, a real pivotal one, I feel like, for Zoro. They gotta make it a strong turn. They gotta hit on the chopper. Well, he has Nami. He's gonna be playing down Nami to search. Yeah, no Jinbei's yet, which is a good thing. We take it. Three, four, five. Oh, is it a... Okay, he doesn't whiff. Wait, this... Did you guys see that? It was triple Makino. Oh my god. Dude, he had triple Makino on that search. He's going seven. He has two Rush Zoros in hand. Interesting how he swings seven first. That's so sketch. That's so crazy. Imagine he had hit something like a like a gravity blade or something like that. Bounce the character. <laughs> Makino giving me PTSD? Never. Wait, now he's attacking board? Nani. Oh, zero cost? Interesting. Very interesting. Huh. He whiffs? Oh no. Oh no, that's a whiff of Roonies. Mm, does he have one Dawn up for the event? He also still hasn't found a uh, Diable Jambe yet either. Another zero cost. Ooh. Ooh. Is he gonna swing Koreha into Dofi? Oh, into Weevil? Okay. Okay, okay. Yogurt Dan really going down on resources. Three cards remaining in his hand, but he is on his nine dawn turn. No Jimbe yet. 
So many cards pitched for real. He went down to three cards. But I guess he has two blockers. So he's relying on that maybe? I don't know. You think the Dom was useless? Yeah, we'll see here. We'll see what Tofi does on their turn. I mean, they know they know what's on their top of the deck, right? So and they're for sure gonna use leader ability, I would imagine. Yeah, it's always a tough one, right? Because it's like you guys see here, the Zoro still have five life, but they would love. They would love for the their opponent to start swinging into their life so they can gain some resources, but... Dofi's just going to be chasing board here, and I don't think Zoro can save the characters, really. I think that's where that's where the struggle is going to be coming in for Zoro. Is can, they, can they keep up that pressure with, you know, less resources? Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Oh, okay. Is it actually filled? 29. Oh, wow. So three, I, could, I could have played, but I, they need a judge. Oh, okay. Because Derek's not official. Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah. Mizu winning it all. Who's Mizu? I don't know who Mizu is. Is Victor in this? No, Victor's in the online. Dofi is cooked. Do you think so? I don't know, bro. I don't know, dude. Wait, yeah. Get Suno. Where are you? Why aren't you here? Oh, he finds Jinbei. Okay, I don't think he's as cooked anymore, dude. I don't think... Dofi, Dofi sitting in a, a stronger position here now. Getting the Jinbei and Moria out. Uh-oh. Eight to Chopper. Two Dawn left, and he's going to swing with Dofi Blocker into Koreha. Yeah, it was interesting how he, like, swung at life, right? And then changed it to swing at board or something like that. I don't even think he has the event in his hand, Chance. I don't even think he has it, dude. He has, he has the, uh... The King Kong Gatling or whatever event. I don't think he has that one cost event. He has two Zoros. Oh, he's got a Jambe. He's got Diable Jambe. Yeah. Yeah, I think he just needs to rush through and swing at life. He didn't swing at board. He reduced the Weevil with Chopper. Yeah, he reduced the the Weevil uh, with Chopper, but then he he tried to swing into the the Weevil, right? With one of his characters or two of his characters, something like that. Didn't he swing into the Weevil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he has the event. Let's 
seven would have been seven K would have countered out for more than zero cost event. No, but after the zero cost event, what did he say? Oh no, I guess it was just uh the it was just Koreha then, right? Okay, maybe it wasn't that bad then. Cause what he had two choppers on the board, Kureha. So he leader swung. Yeah, he leader swung and then his two choppers swung and then Kureha. So yeah, Kureha was the only one that swung at it. He's just gonna play double Zoro. Yeah, he's going for for double Zoro. Maybe. Does Dovi have one card in hand? Is that what it is? Okay, okay. So yeah, he was he was pressuring life more than I thought. I thought he swung two characters at it, but it was only one. Go Zoro, go. Go. I think people always feel like they want uh. I feel like they want Zoro to uh, to win. It's like a fan a fan favorite deck. Not only because of the character, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people always want Zoro to win. Maybe also because Dofi's gonna be uh, such a crazy deck in the next set or in the in the next format. Well, and Dofi's gonna clear board here for sure. Oh my god, he gets out another gym. Oh, and he had Mihawk in hand too. Okay. Well, he has no cards in hand though. No blocker on the field. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Tofu Dan. Oh yeah, you could have played, Cal. Shit, I could have played too. I didn't even know. They didn't even let me know how many people. It didn't it didn't even fill, Cal. Sleepa, you could have played. You look up meta in 09, but you don't see a lot of Dofi. There's a lot of Dofi in 09. Just feeling regrets right now. <laughs> Wait, but you're playing the online one though, right? Or what? Just hope Wizards are the same. Yeah. I'm going to be streaming that one, so... I'm gonna be streaming that one too. Oh, you're not in the online. Oh, what? Then you should have come. Oh, that's crazy. I thought you were playing the online. Man, you should have just come. That's crazy. So we know that Zoro has dragon. You're making him regret it more bro he's crying <laughs> you guys are you guys in the in the zulu's discord right now watch party watch party live right now This <laughs> is our Korean took a hella shit photo of me, dude. Oh my god. Worst photo ever of me. What is this? Dude. Dude. People, people don't like me here, man. The local scenes change. You guys know what I'm talking about? You just pulled Oda Sig Luffy. What? That's fucking lit, Earl. Let's go, man. Congratulations, dude. I'm fucking dead.
<laughs> Let's go, Earl. It's because it's because you were watching the stream, right? It was that good luck there. Zoro has two Dawn up. Oh, is it for that um that King Kong the King Kong Gatling event or whatever? Why does he got two Dawn up? I'm your little lucky charm. Hey, let's go, dude. Seven to life. Yogurt Dan. What did he get? Oh, he got a red rock. Yogurt Dan got a red rock. Oh, my God, bro. What a what a draw. What a draw off the Mihawk, dude. That red rock's going to be coming in clutch to get rid of that dragon. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Gatling's offensive. I'm not doing the online. Re I didn't get in. You wish you could have a mini version of me so you can put me in your pocket and carry me around. Bro, that'd be crazy. Oh, he has Oh, he has two of those events maybe? Wait. Wait, let's see if he hits. This is going to be fire if he hits. What the fuck? Oh, is that the OP01 chopper? That's the thing that lets you take a card back from trash or something, right? Does he do it again? No, he has a Jambe in hand, I thought. Interesting. Huh. Huh. But yeah, it's like, uh, it's like ReZero. I'd be your, your little, like, spirit that you summon. Oh, he goes seven, and then he's gonna red rock. That's crazy, bro. It's looking like it's a GG's for Zoro. Not enough gas. Just unfortunate. Not enough gas. Hella tragic. Even if he counters out, we know the dragon's gonna be sent away. Molzar, thanks so much for the tier one sub. Let's go, bro. First month. Welcome in, bro. Yeah, that's rough. That's fucking rough, dude. So zero cards in hand. We need two rushers. Right? Bro, if he just had one more character on the board, and then if, if, if he pulled a rusher, right? Like, dude, that's so crazy. Zero cards in hand for Dofi. Oh, that just hurts, man. It's like, that's just so painful. Like, if he had another one of the, the one-cost events to use, fill the board up with one more character, and he pull a rush, but... Yeah, I guess he clears board. Wait, there's a chance. There's a chance for Zoro. If Dofi just doesn't see more characters, right? Hold up. Ooh, and he gets back Rush Zoro? Wait, okay, that chopper's kind of lit. What the fuck? He just... Okay, he got his Rush. Wait, dude, that's crazy. He can clear board. What the fuck? Oh, let's see if he hits. Oh, he does hit. Oh. Oh, he takes blocker chopper over the other chopper. Okay. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. He wants the block. Wait. This is crazy. Crazy. But Yogurt Dan, two cards in hand for Zoro, he probably, he probably gets rid of one of the characters. 
Zoro cooking low key, right? Wait, this is insane. Zoro's coming back here. You told me Dopey's cooked. <laughs> You're right, dude. Let me go back. Let me go back. <laughs> you were like, Zoro's playing slow. <laughs> you would have taken the other chopper, though? Yeah, instead of the blocker. Oh, he gets Weevil, so he gets a card. Okay, wait. Wait, this is crazy, bro. Oh, is that Kid Killer? Did he draw a Kid Killer? I can't tell. I think that is Kid Killer. Oh my god, bro. I think Zoro's taking this. It is Kid Killer. Wait, dude, that little dinky chopper can just take back another Zoro from trash, right? He has another Zoro in trash. Oh my god, bro. Wait, that chopper's kind of lit. Dude, watch him. Even if he hits an event in his life, because he has two rush. Hmm. Oh, he leads with six. With the leader. I feel like that's so sketch, bro. Is that just me? Swinging with his leader first? I feel like that's so sketch against Dofi in this situation, too. That's hella sketch. You need this dude's deckless shit looks lit. <laughs> Yeah, he has Kid Killer, he has Zoro. He's Yogurt Dan. Yogurt Dan trying to decide. <clears throat> If he's going to counter out of this 6k swing, I guess. He probably pulled counter from his life then. That's what it's looking like. He pulled some counter. Does he have a 2k? Oh, he takes it. Or was he bluffing? He's still <laughs> Hungry? <laughs> Judge. Is it even the better play to play Zoro? Because what? Three Dawn for Zoro and you swing for six? Versus Kureha, you put three onto her, you swing six too, right? Isn't that the same shit? I guess. You swing seven here? Yeah, it's like... Same thing. And then four more Dawn for Kid Killer to swing seven. Does he have it? He has a counter. Or sorry, eight. It was for an eight. My bad. Not seven. Damn, dude, his hands were shaking. His hands were shaking there. No way, bro. No. No. No, dude. No. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. Zoro lost. No. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Dofi taking it. 
Dofi taking it right there, you guys. Get him out of here. Clear clock. Clear croc, no chance to lose. Yeah. No, for real. Mm -hmm. He had game, though, if he started with five from Kareha. Right? I was surprised that he swung with leader for six right away, too. That's another one, right? If you swing you swing five with Kareha, instead of having to play that rush Zoro, right? And then it allows you to just play Kid Killer later on, swing nine, right? It saves you that one dawn. To bring Kid Killer to 9, right? And then he doesn't have the counter for that. Because he had 2k and 2 1k's. Right? I think it was. Yeah. You gotta lead with the 5. Fuck, man. Fuck. He was Marco before, too. I mean, if they see the nuts, man. It's very possible. They see those relays. They they chain into the the Sanjis. They get out the the ace early on. It's very possible. It's getting hard for you too. We had Ponyta and Beldum a month ago. Those are awesome. Nice, 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 nice. All right. So he's starting off with Izo. I don't know what's uh. He is that Daz. Bone? No. What the fuck is that? I don't even know what that is. You hope Lucci loses, but your money's on Lucci. <laughs> no, they're they're both good players. Arnie, um, he's a he's an insane player here locally in Washington. Very accomplished when it comes to our local scene here. Been trying to make for a name for himself in uh, some of those bigger events uh, nationwide and he he got his qualification to to nats and played in it so let's see he does have relay i think it... okay he puts i think that was a josie he put the josie on the bottom are you playing this nah i'm not playing in it we're just commentating life nothing too crazy just chilling today you know having a good time vibing with you guys okay four dawn turned for arnie Let's see what he's got for four. I'm curious to see what's in his deck. Oh, he... Okay, so he has Isho. Ice Age and Moria he mills, but I'm pretty sure he does have a Moria in hand. Or Jack, at least. He's got, like, other... Oh, I think he has two Jacks. Oh, my goodness. I think that's two Altar Jacks. Is that a custom Marco? No, that's the actual leader, bro. Oh, he's got Bors. My man. Hey, Arnie's on the Bors? Let's go. I'd love to see that. Borst is going to be a great card here. Yeah, no, that's that's the actual alt art leader. It's like they it's like stripper Marco or like they like femboy, TikTok boy Marco people are calling it. Oh, I couldn't see what he's bottom decking. That's so interesting though. He keeps bottom decking cards instead of putting them to the top of his deck like um Cody most of the time is putting cards to the top of his deck, what I noticed in our matchup. No, I did not. Uh uh. You fell asleep last night? Yeah, he's up hella late, usually. Oh, what's he gonna play? Does he have Ace? What the fuck is that? Is that Kaido? Wait, what? Yo, what is that card? What is the card? Oh, it's Atmos, you guys. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> That is crazy! I thought that Bors was gonna do work. It's Atmos? What the fuck? What's going on, Dark Reaper? Dude, it sent the Bors back to his hand. That's great. Bors got 
Okay. Didn't do any work. Oh, but he has six cost brooks. Fuck yeah. We'd love to see that. Okay. Okay, Arnie's back in it. Marco's still at four life, though. Keeping keeping that life pretty high. How's your day going, Dark Reaper? Welcome in, you guys. If you're just tuning in, make sure to hit that follow button if you haven't done so already. And let me know how your guys' Saturday is going. If you guys are playing the online event, keep me updated on that. Oh, sorry. Round two. My bad, bro. Good comms. W comms right there, Hawk. Let's see. What is Marco going to give us on... They have how much Dawn remaining? Six Dawn, it looks like. Listening to your stream until you can get off of work? Hell yeah, dude. He takes it. And for six Dawn, we're going to be seeing... Wait, what? Jozu to bounce the card back. What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy, you guys. Yeah, this the way that he's playing Marco is so different than what I at least know of from Marco. So, but we do know that he has a uh, Isho, which he won't be able to use here because he's down to four cards in hand. But and I think he has Moria as well, and he has Jack. Only two, four, six, seven cards in trash. Won't be able to use his Tempest Kick. He does have an Ice Age, though. So Ice Age Jack is going to be the move here for Arnie. Yep. Okay, that's nice. Oh, and he t draws another. So he's going to trash it. Yep. KO Jozu. Okay. Back and, board, back and forth of board state here. <laughs> Marco keeps on bouncing Arnie's characters and um, Lucci here just keep on KOing Marco's characters. <laughs> which which deck is going to come out on top? We'll see. I'm pretty sure the Marco does have Rayleigh as well. So if he plays Rayleigh and swing with Marco, he can keep he can reduce that jack down, right? By a decent amount. That's crazy, right? I think the the Rayleigh would reduce it by 3k or some shit. It's a three one character 3k, one character 2k. And then leader also minus 2k, so he minus 5k on it. Oh. Oh. That's kind of crazy. He can KO Jack. That's kind of crazy, you guys. What the fuck? Is he going to do it? Wait. Dragon? N no Rayleigh. Oh, so he's gonna swing. He's gonna swing dragon into it as well. If he, uh... wow, that works. That works too, you guys. He decided to go for more pressure. Maybe. So he's gonna tempest. Oh, he has double tempest. Well, that dragon's going bye bye. And he has Luchi in trash too. Double Tempest into Moria. Interesting. Didn't want to Tempest first.
Arnie's got a decent amount of cards in hand, but I don't know if he has a ton of counter. That's the thing. And I see a Rebecca in his hand. I don't know if he has a ton of counter. Is this normal Marco build? No. Is not. Well, I don't know what's a, what is considered a normal Marco build. I feel like whoever played Marco is like, they kind of have like their own techs. Like top end is normal, but some of like the, that early mid game, it wasn't uh, what we traditionally know. So he does pull a 2K, which is nice. Arnie does get a 2K. Getting a little bit more counter in his hand here. Another Tempest? Or is he going to summon the Suro? Huh. As a Whifferonis? Okay, gets rid of the Dragon, so he saves one of his Tempest Kicks. Okay. There we go. He still has a Jack in hand. He still has that Isho that's been in his hand as well. Let's see what Doc's got for us here. Let's, let's see what the Marco's got. Ooh, he finally gets his ace. No way. Oh, okay, okay. Puts the... Okay, I, I, he's been bottom decking every card, so I thought he was about to bottom deck his Rayleigh. I was like, no way, bro. Oh, my God. Hmm. And for nine, he plays Sanji. There we go. Sanji into Rayleigh. Yep, KO's the Luchi. <sighs> yeah, there we go. Okay. Pulled a sign stamp Bleach card on stream today. Which character? I love Bleach, dude. I that like I love UA because of the IP that they have. But I just don't know in terms of playability. It just reminds me a lot about Weiss. So like I love Love the anime cards. Toshiro, oh my god, dude, that's sick. That's fucking sick, dude. Wow. Does he have Ice Age in hand? No, he has... Temp... Oh, no, he does? Does he have an Ice Age? I can't tell. No, that's not an Ice Age. No. Okay. Can't tell with these alt arts sometimes. I don't use the alt arts. <laughs> Arnie didn't know that his Moria is still at six. <laughs> Don't know who he is yet, but he's your favorite character. Oh, you you've never seen Bleach? Are you are you currently watching, dude? The newest season that's about to be coming out. I think it's the final season too, bro. Or like the final part of the last season. So good. Hmm. So then, what can he do here? What can Arnie do? Because it's minus three. He could Brooks it. Depending on what's in his hand. So he's... He brings the Rayleigh down to four costs and he could Brook it. Because I don't know if he has another... I don't know if he has another single cost reduction card to bring... Is that a Moria? Oh wait, does he have another Moria in hand? He's got Moria, he can get it done. Yeah, if one of them sticks, it's good, yep. I think the Sanji's gonna stick. 
I, I'm almost 100% certain that Sanji's sticking. He doesn't have enough cost reduction in hand. It started today. First episode came out this morning. Ooh, okay, city boy. Okay. Oh, you just started the manga. You respected the hell out of it, though. Bleach is legendary, bro. It was the big three growing up for me. Dragon Ball, of course, was its own thing, I feel like. But big three for me was uh, One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach growing up. And they're always, it was always, Naruto was number one, One Piece number two, and then Bleach number three on, like, the manga websites and stuff like that. I, I still remember growing up, but, um, yeah, there's the, the legendary ones. What's going on, Range? Welcome in. Yeah, so eight Dawn remaining. Eight Dawn for Arnie. So, oh, he's going with the Rebecca play. Okay. So he's going to bring out... Um, oh, yeah, because he's running the, the... He's running the Kaku still. He's running that four-cost Kaku that I don't run. I forgot about that, too, that minus three. But, yeah, Khalifa kind of cycle out the dead cards in his hand, like that... Uh, that... Um, that Isho. That Isho is fucking dead in his hand, and that Brooks... Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And then he has Luchi in his hand. Yeah. How's your weekend range? Them one manga days were lit, dude. <laughs> Crazy, man. And then I remember fourth place was like fairy tale. Okay, so he does get out a blocker, which is nice. Um which is definitely the the better play in this situation considering that he didn't have a lot of counter in hand before the Khalifa. How much counter does he, he has a Sabo? Hmm, okay, well, we do see that Marco has been saving that Pilaf that Pilaf has been in hand for quite a while, so he can build up that hand size if he would like. He's currently at four cards in hand, I think. Nothing much? Hey, you know, nothing wrong with that. Just a chill weekend for you. You need to relax. Kick back, relax. Now, this is going to be the interesting, this is going to be an interesting turn for Marco. Is it, does Marco go for life more or does Marco go for board? That's, that's going to be a very uh, important decision that Marco is going to have to make here. And so they are going with the peel off option though, in order to gain a little bit more of a hand size. See what options they can work with. He has Otama, Izo. Oh yeah, he has that ace as well, right? That ace that he got earlier. I missed, I missed what he put to the top of his deck, but okay. For ace, he's going to drop the ace. Bounce the Rebecca back. Oh my god, you guys. And then he's gonna go for life. Oh, he reduces the...
It's going at life. Seven to life and then nine to life? <laughs> Is that what he's doing? He's going seven to life and nine to life? <laughs> Does Arnie, Ar I think Arnie have two and a one. Oh, it's the Boris. Yeah, it's the who's who in Boris. Crazy. Can I show you my sweater? Everybody's so curious about my sweater, man. What? This? Is it an ugly sweater? No. The sweater's lit. <laughs> Four cards in hand for Marco. Does Arnie try to chase that Sanji? Yes, it is. The bikini bottom of the... <laughs> oh, my God. That sweater is cold. Bro, Chippy, you could have made it in today. You could have made it in. It didn't even fill. I could have been playing. Oh, you're in the online. Okay. Fair, fair, fair. But your X2, so yeah. <laughs> this one might have been easier. Might have been easier than the online, but I know the pricing. The pricing is definitely, you know. So, I mean, we do we do see Arnie. He has Rebecca and Sabo. He could block her up. Wait, bro. Is this, um, is the Atmos... An on play or is an activate main? I think I think it's only an on play. That'd be crazy if it's an activate main. I don't even know what set that Atmos is from. That's crazy. If it's activate main, that is so crazy. Yeah, I don't know if Arnie has enough cost reduction to get rid of that Sanji. I think he still has, he has another six cost Brooks in his hand. A Luchi. Hey, but N NX2, Atmos is on play? Okay, okay, okay. Go, go end it, X2 though, man. Bubble, bubble into 64, at least. I don't even know if you need a bubble into 64 at X2. Aren't you guaranteed? Guaranteed? 64 at X2, maybe? Hmm. Is Arnie gonna just block her up? Is he gonna go Rebecca Sabo? Just make it so his board doesn't get, he doesn't lose his board some more. Ooh. He go nine at Sanji. Or he could just slam the rest of the Dawn onto Luchi, bro. <laughs> yeah, but no way he does that. No way he slams. All right, he didn't even need it. Yeah, one card in hand. He put five Dawn onto Luchi to swing 11. And then... Uh, player Rebecca. Oh, it's 1,000, so X2 game 2. There's another YP card that's a 2K that's activate main, reveal 2 YP card. Gain 2K? Oh, my God. Casual NPC. Thanks so much for the follow. X2 can be 32, so invite 2. Ooh, that's true. I guess it depends on your, your tiebreakers, right? That'd be dependent on tiebreakers. Might be a little bit tough though. Being X2 a little, you know, before like halfway through the tournament or so. Or it's almost halfway. What is it, like four rounds so far? But, hey, I believe, bro. I believe. Oh, did he pull Dragon? Is that Dragon? 
He just pushed life? I don't know. One life remaining? He's got a couple cards in hand. Five, maybe? He might have five. Oh, starting round six, you lost four. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad. It's hella funny, though, how this works at, like, these the local bigger events like this. Because when some of the other players who have... Uh, who are currently undefeated have won. They make their way over, especially to like the, the stream table here. Um, you know, trying to trying to fucking scope out and see what their opponents are running. Six to lead, I think, is what he's doing. How much counter does Arnie have in hand? He does have a two K. So that's the thing, right? Doc or Marco, the Marco player, since you guys know know who I'm referring to when I say Doc, I guess. Um, Marco here doesn't have a ton of cards in hand. Yeah, I think Arnie has five cards left in hand. Looks like it's five. In persons too. Also, you'll be at Wizards Keep next weekend. Let's go. Wait, is it next weekend? Or is it two weeks from now? It's next weekend, huh? That's crazy. Uh, Where's my message with them? It's actually next weekend, huh? The 19th? No, yeah, two weekends. Two weekends. Okay, you had me scared, dude. I was like, dude, was that, did I get the date wrong? <laughs> you got to be hella scared, bro. Oh, another 2K? Dragon? Okay. He's got three swings. I don't know why my autofocus is tripping, you guys. Autofocus is freaking out right now. Nothing changed really on the board. All right, we're good. So he reduced the attack of the... Or no, he swung at the Luchi. Sorry. Is that eight? He swung eight at Luchi? Oh, this is looking... This could be GG's. Oh my god. This could be GG's for Marco here. Uh, with no blocker on the field. Depending on how many cards is in Marco's hand? I don't know. Ooh, seven. Yep, this is GG's probably. Unless, is that a zero cost event? He has zero cost event, but I don't think that's enough. Ooh, that's tough. It's going to require all the cards from his hand. And then he swing five, and then, yeah, that's GG's. GG's for Marco. Oh, what a game. Mm hmm. What a game. What a game, you guys. That was a close one. Um, you just bought a few booster boxes last week and really want to get into the game. Never played any TCG before. What do you think you should do to learn this game? Uh, casual NPC, do you know about the sim? If you do exclamation mark sim in the chat, uh, it'll give you a link that will kind of explain and tell you how to download the simulator and that allow you to practice for free um, and practice at your own pace kind of thing. But... I think, uh, yeah, getting in a lot of reps is key when you're first learning the game. And I would say find find a character that you like. You know, if you if you watch One Piece or read One Piece, having a character that that you like will allow you to have more fun in the game if it's in your deck, you know? That's what I would say. If you have any experience coming from other TCGs too, maybe like, um, you know, if you ever played Pokemon, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh!, there's like a certain play style that you like. You can gravitate towards that kind of play style in one piece. Carrot's best leader. 
Who needs One Piece sponsorship? Shit, dude. They're never going to sponsor my ass. It's always hella funny when, like, the judges or, like, the announcers are like, you know, let's go, pirates. Best of luck to you, pirates. You pirates out there. You put all 10 of your points on Zoro. It's all you got. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Nobody betting on Dofi? Anybody betting on Dofi? Ooh, so he does see the event right away. All right, he does see the event early on, but we are seeing a dragon and Zoro getting bottom decked here. Hey, chat, you got to tell her. Tell him to subscribe. And tell him to hit that sub button for those that are subscribed. I guess I'll see the end of the match. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Oh, man. Oh, he... Okay. So, Dofi getting out the blocker Dofi right there. Um, it's already stacking the top of his deck. <laughs> Only on add three. <laughs> oh my god uh that two player play mat is sick yeah i'm i'm so happy that i won it early on tcg connect i uh i won that in a tournament super early on in oh three i think it was i think it was with zoro but yeah one of the locals was hosting a tournament for it and uh, made it to top cut and yeah What beer do you want to buy leaving it up to the community? What beer do you like though? Like do you like IPAs? Pilsners? Do you like uh, Blondes, you know you like uh, stouts, you know like the, you gotta give us like a, a group You know are you like a fucking a water drinker? Like are you you a fan of like some Miller light? Or what? Some craft beers? You're all for that good, good ad rev, but Jesus, Twitch. <laughs> yeah, what's going on, MJ? Welcome in, bro. He counters out with the pudding. So Dan, uh, Yogurt Dan here is, uh, he's been able to, to get in some good reps against Zoro. Um, so he should know the majority of the cards here. Let's see if he hits. Oh, he does hit. Nice. Chopper does hit. Very nice. But we are seeing Nami, Kid Killer, and Dragon getting sent to the bottom of the deck. Um, those are going to be great cards to have later on in the match. When he has another Chopper in hand, I think. You just woke up after n not having gotten any sleep this past week? Work's been killing you or what? Welcome back, Gale. Welcome back. So you guys can already see that this game is going differently than the round one game because Dofi did have to hit life once. So Zoro is down to four life already. So that does change things. Whether better for Zoro or worse for Zoro, I don't know. But that does give Zoro an extra resource, which I feel like is kind of nice, you know, for Zoro because they they kind of go down in, in that hand size very fast. We do see that he has Rayleigh in hand. Two Dawn remaining for Dofi. Is he going to swing with Blocker? As long as he's having fun, he's just happy to be on stream. And I appreciate that. You know, I know some people don't like being on stream. So it's always, it's always great when I can get some people to play on stream. You know? That's awesome. Where are you from? Washington TCG Connect? What the hell? No way. No way right now. Lots of good coffee around there. Seattle, yeah. Seattle known for their coffee because... Fuck, dude. People need their coffee here. Oh, you're from New York. Ooh, he actually clears the Weevil. So, you guys see that in the first game for yogurt dan he hard defended his characters going down to zero cards in hand but this time he actually lets his character go i'm surprised 
Okay, he's he's playing it differently. Oh, it's a whiff. Oh no, that's a whifferonies. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, no trigger. Is he going to whiff again? I hope not. Let's see if he can hit. Okay, he doesn't whiff. Okay, that's good. He's flooding board. Trying to flood board, at least. Seattle known for those fan zombies. <laughs> What's going on, Queen of Weeaboos? Is that, is that his username? Queen of Weeaboos? It's a class of hacksers. Is that Zoro player's username? Because I know uh, Dofi's username. I I've never met Zoro player before. It's a great story. You was actually supposed to be judging this regional today, but you got the flu. Oh! You're supposed to be the other judge. Dizzy? I heard. I heard that you got sick. That's why Hungry's taking over too, right? He's like... He's, he's holding down the fort for your spot too. Welcome in, Dizzy. Have I met you before? try to grab people all the time to fucking fent zombies <laughs> dude i've never had a fent zombie try to grab me man i just most of the time they're just always like Ugh. like 90 degrees dude just, <laughs> okay that is zora okay class is his name oh okay You can't make it Thursdays, only Saturdays. Oh, I mean, I, I don't go to local. <laughs> I, I don't I don't even go Thursdays or Saturdays normally. It's only when I'm, there's events that uh, that I cover. <laughs> so, shit, dude. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember what you look like. Oh, they're helping you in your booth. Fuck. I'm I'm bad. That's why no one knows me, bro. It's different times, man. Times have changed. Wait. Okay, so he does have zero cost event. Ditching a perfume. Dude. Yogurt Dan always having two of those zero cost events. Crazy. But uh, no Jinbei this time so far. He hasn't hit a Jinbei yet. We'll see if he's able to flood the board. Four cards in hand for Zoro. Plays down blocker chopper. It's not bad. Oh, you guys play as a group at Tabletop on Saturday night. Oh, nice. Thursday City traffic's horrendous. Oh, yeah. It's so bad. So bad. I'm for sure not making it out here on a Thursday. Unless... Uh, the only time I make it out here on Thursday is maybe pre-release. He's got to shut up and come in hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the, the way that you fucking write that, Robs. He was dressed up. He was dressed up as Ace at regionals. Yeah, I'll be hundred percent. I'll, I'll remember that. Weeaboos. Maybe. I don't know if that's like the. The thing where it's like when you tell somebody something and then it like m makes them think that they actually saw it. But, like, they didn't actually see it type of thing, you know? But I hope that we can meet again sometime soon. No, yeah, this is this is definitely different than than the first round for Dofi. Because uh, Dofi not being able to establish Jinbei into Mori or Jinbei into Weevil. So, hasn't been able to flood board as much. But, I mean, two characters out? That's not bad. That's that's honestly not terrible. And he gets his Searcher Dofi back. The Blocker Searcher Dofi. So he's going to be able to stack his deck again next turn. Dofi has a decent amount of counter, too. So here's the thing, right? Is Zoro going to... Trying to... Is, is Zoro going to try to pair the Chopper with Rayleigh? Is, he, is that what he can do? Or he doesn't even need to, right? No, he just KOs the Wii. He didn't, yeah, he doesn't even need to do that. Yeah. 
He doesn't need to reduce it more. <laughs> God damn it, Roms. You play Carrot since RP Law was banned, and you're a one deck Andy. Oh, yeah, I'm a one deck Andy, too. I play one deck each set. I don't play another deck. I just stick to what I know and try to learn it and the ins and outs of it. And I think that's that's a great way to really play well. Carrot's kind of nasty. I got to say that. We have another Carrot. He said he's been doing really well with it, too, so... Carrot, Carrot can take a lot of people by surprise. He played against Hungry on stream last regional when he was playing. Oh, that's you, Dizzy. Mm. I remember. Okay, I remember you, Dizzy, because you um. Uh, you hit him with the the Apu, right? I'm pretty sure you got him with Apu and Hody. Electric Luna can be stellar. Hmm. So he's gonna leave. He's gonna leave the one Don out for the event. You went X two for your store regional. Lost in the last round. No. Would X one have? Would X one have gotten you into second? Or how many? How many people? Um, it was a sixty four or thirty two man regional. Cause this one's thirty two, so only two people get invited. Oh. Oh, they're talking about it because the Moria, the attack was reduced. The attack was reduced, but he says that he has to keep the Moria tap, which is fair. But he's trying to explain that he's like, because it's a tournament, you know, big tournament setting, the character has to stay like that. He's not letting him take it back, which is, you know, that's, that's the way it goes, bro. That's the way it goes. Okay. Oh, it's a 64 man, so top four. Damn, dude. Ooh, hiking bear. You can always tell when your hub's talking because of his hands. Wait, yeah, why didn't you uh, why didn't you uh, and the gang show up today? Weeaboo? Miss Queen of Weeaboos, Gale Foss, why didn't you guys come? There's open spots. Store regional, nah. You forgot, you get punished. Is he Italian? <laughs> it's okay, I wouldn't have bubbled into fourth place. Guy was the guy that you lost. This guy was the guy that you lost it. Oh, okay. Next door regional. You got this, bro. Oh, you got a truckload of work? You got a deadline for tonight? Ah. Uh... Oh, Slim's your fiance. Oh, my God. What a... This is crazy, you guys. This is like a whole interconnected network here. What the heck? That's crazy. Holy... Oh, Gecko actually getting let go that easy. Wow. I'm surprised that Yogurt Dan let it go. Oh, he's going five again. Five to life. Just keep keep chipping, chipping and dipping. Six, six. Bro, this pressure is crazy. And he's going to go six again. Oh, this pressure is insane. What a board. Oh, is he going to trigger? Is he gonna trigger? It's a uh, it's a uh, tire blade. It's tiger blade. I'm pretty sure. Cause he has he has the uh, the ten cost Kaido that he can play next turn instead of tiger blading. We're all besties. We're here for class since he was the one who was able to go. And then we found out he was going to be on stream. Fuck yeah. Did he text you guys or something like that? Or did you guys just like know from seeing his hands? Squad in the chat. Hey, let's go. I love I love to see it. Okay, so he does Raging Tiger. Uh, the Zoro. And then he's probably going to play 10 drop. 
the because he he didn't want to save Raging Tiger for his turn to send two characters back. I feel like he's gonna ten drop, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Oh, Gecko was reduced by Chopper. Oh, that's right. I forget. Damn, dude. Zoro's in a very strong position. Five at four. Five at four. Four at four. And then 10 drop. Yep. So he's just going to gain four cards. Okay. So he does have a zero cost event. And he has a... Um, he has a zero cost and he has a... What's his face? I'm surprised that he... Damn, that's crazy that he tapped blocker. But I guess it's because he value. He was like, I'm going to pull four cards. Um, he had Weevil, I think. Zero cost and Weevil before the four. Oh, he told you guys in the group chat that you have? Hell yeah. That's a... That's my kind of man right there. All right. Hey, let's go. He told you guys, hey, join join the live stream. Let's go. So what does he have? He got a Moria. He got a Jinbei, I think. Guess who he just lost to? Your ex, you were ex one. Who would you have played? Like, is somebody that I know, personally, or what? I mean, there's like a million people. Who else is playing the tournament? Clyde, unless if he got in. Um. Yeah, your ex two now, but your you were ex one. I played him, Chris Sock. Oh, at Pasadena. Oh fuck. Oh, Adam. Yeah, you played Adam? Pasadena champion? Hey, let's go. Hey, I said it before I saw Linda's chat. Okay? I know there's delay and shit like that, but I saw... I, I, I said it before I saw Linda's chat. <laughs> oh, shit. Is he playing... He's playing Nami? He had one card left in deck and had rubber band? Oh, my God. What a demon. What a demon, bro. Did you tell him you tell him that uh, you're part of the Voo crew? That you're repping the Voo crew? Damn, dude, he goes down. Oh, he's trying to get Zoro to full commit. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Does he have enough counter? He has zero cost to bring him up three. Thirteen. Damn, he ditches Jimbe. Okay, can Zoro survive here? How many cards in hand? Is it one? Is it one card in hand? Where does he go? He goes seven, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Seven, eight, nine, twelve. Or he leave a blocker up, clear. Yeah, no, he can't clear both character all board. He's there's two two characters that are active. He can't clear them both. Both of the Karehas. Oh, he has a hiking bear in hand. What's going on, Rice? How you doing? Welcome into the stream. Is is this just one card? Zoro Zoro has one card in hand. And it's hiking bear. Holy, wait, that's kind of lit. That's kind of lit, dude. Man, this is a tough situation for Dofi. I don't think they have another blocker. 
So they go 7, 8, 9, 12. Or they feel it out with a 5. Jinroro, thanks so much for the follow. So he is committing. He is committing. Oh, I, don't, I think that was a no counter. 8. Imagine he hits like a, a finger pistol or a jet pistol. That is a no counter. It is a Zoro. No. Double no counter. Double no counter from life. Oh, that's rough, dude. Yogurt Dan barely managing to win two times in a row against Zoro. Wow. Such close games. Both times, bro. No. No. Yeah, he baited him. He baited him into that that full commit. Too much rush Zoro. Yeah, two rush Zoros in life. Two rush Zoros in life is just tough, bro. He just needed... He just need a little bit of more counter, for sure. But you play pudding because you got tired of losing to Lucci. Oh, interesting. Maybe we'll be able to run up some games sometime, Slim. I feel like the pudding matchup isn't too bad against Lucci. I think it depends on your deck list and how, uh, how you play the matchup. Because we were playing against pudding on stream, uh, the other day. Um, some games against locals and then some games on like ranked and stuff and it wasn't wasn't too bad putting these nuts in your mouth yeah you do the same putting these nuts in your mouth for uh hating on dan to dan <laughs> um i heard arnie's playing unpro damn that's tough but you know that's a boring matchup right i mean yeah yeah not that it's, well not boring no boring, no but yeah like no. you they see it on your stream all the time yeah, Dan, this is... Dan uh, says that I need to cut him some revenue, though. Oh, yeah. Because he's been on stream three times now. <laughs> How much have you made? <laughs> <laughs> Minus, negative. <laughs> negative for time. You run mine super late game. You actually XO'd the first local of 08 with your pudding net. Nice. First episode of Dead and Dead was wild. Wild? Like good or wild as in bad? What kind of wild? I was trying to get pudding on last stream. Oh, but it... oh yeah, but you're saying Lucci was the one that I didn't want to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Who's the wood pudding player? What's his... Uh... Uh, I don't know his name. Yeah, I've never seen him in my life. He's got a dog, though. His dog's super cute. Oh, yeah, he's the one that walked in with the dog. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's his homie's the one taking care of the dog for this. Oh, uh, okay. Is he from... Uh... Maybe he's from Oregon or Vancouver? Oh, I think he's local here. Oh, I see him at Tabletop. Oh. Wait, dude, so Tabletop? Because I still I just remember Tabletop days being like four mans. Oh, now it's... Oh, okay. Now it's full. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you guys... Well, everywhere is full now. Okay. Wizard's Keep is always full. That's crazy, dude. Uh, Zulu's usually gets to 50, 60 people per... On a weekday? Every day. Damn, that's crazy. So... That's there's, there's a lot of new people. Crazy, yeah. And some new people are like... They're like two weeks in. Okay. I beat a... With a... I beat a black yellow Luffy, and the dude trashes his event, uh -huh. and then plays puts two sabos from his hand into his life. Okay. Instead of trashing sabo to bring. Oh him up. oh oh oh. He trashed an oh, event. I was like, bro, what are you I doing? See, I see what you're saying. But you beat him with Zoro, right? No, I beat him with Bonnie. Uh, oh, is that Zach, the one with the dash hound? Dash, yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so his name's Zach. Your buddy Quan 6 0 with Nom bro, what is up with that man? Slim Dirty, what's his uh Bandai name? Yeah, we go we go by online names, Slim. Oh yeah, Slim's the one that played you. Yeah yeah. Last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to put a face to the name and then he's like, Oh Slim I played. Slim was supposed to be judging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. We were talking about that. Hope you get better. Sorry, sorry to hear you're sick. Yeah, hella people are sick recently, man. I forget who somebody else was telling me that they were sick uh in the chat. Yeah, Kazashini just lost to Adam. Adam's on Nami in the online. Uh, Ditto Ant was 3-0. Uh, 
last time I checked, I don't know where he's at now, but... Okay. He was in chat a little bit ago, but... Oh, it's the boy legend himself. Oh, is that the son? Yeah. Uh. The two-time Australia champion Pokemon. Damn, that's crazy. He's taken over Australia two years in a row now. He's like the Singaporeans. <laughs> they just go invade Australia and whoop their ass. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go back to that. Yeah, mm-hmm. sounds good, bro. Childish Gambino is sick, too. Had to cancel the rest of his tour. Oh. <laughs> I read your first comment, Roms, as like, he's sick, as in like, he's a sick artist. <laughs> What's going on, Nary? How's your day going, bro? So yeah, this is the, oh, sorry, round four. This is the semifinals. I keep forgetting to change the text. Semis. I'll just say that. Ah, fuck it. Whatever. Round four. Oh, it looks better. Okay, so. Katakuri, being out in the field is always nice for pudding. That Katakuri is a, a nice card. And we do see Capone in life as well. Along with Whitebeard. Ooh. So, so, actually, Slim. I don't know if you run that Whitebeard. But that Whitebeard uh, one game was really powerful. But um, he, he played the Whitebeard early on. And was able to, like, reflip his life or some shit like that. Oh, no, no, no. So, he had the two. So, he had four life. The pudding that I played against had four life. Flipped the two life over. Played Whitebeard. Put the two flipped up life to the bottom and then use leader ability again or whatever the fuck. Like next turn or uh, something like that. So it actually worked out pretty well in their favor. Yeah, that new gate is nice. It's Z- <laughs> No way, that's his- is that actually his username? <laughs> Just found out that three local just randomly spawned in your area. Where are you from, Nary? Does he? Trigger that shit? No. Oh, he goes down to one. He's just gonna play like a big mom or some shit, right? Or no, he got, he's got ace. That's what it is. He has a, oh, Germany, that's right. They're from Germany. Hey, that's awesome, though. A lot of people cut it for Bon Clay, but you don't agree. Ooh, I've seen some builds with Bon Clay, too. Saturday night, probably have 13 to 20 consistent players for tabletop. Ooh. Ooh. Is there an event? Are they doing a locals tonight here after this? Or is this considered the event for Saturday? Law and a pudding he counters out with. Ace. Yep. 10 drop ace. Swinging at Jinbei. Just clears board, builds enough big bodies, and then starts going for life, maybe? Is the pudding tech? I don't know. I don't know. They won't do locals tonight with the regional app. Okay. And then they have, oh, they have a SP big mom? Damn, dude. Ooh. Ooh. So he had two puddings in hand? Wow. That's crazy. Yogurt Dan had two fucking puddings. But with so many big cost characters in the deck for for pudding, it's so weird. I mean, we have pudding character and pudding fucking leader. For, for so many big bodies that the pudding leader runs, I feel like the odds of him pulling another big body, especially one that can heal him some life, is pretty high i don't know let's see here what he draws let's see here oh yeah he's got a 10 drop mom what is that seven drop or some shit couldn't see the rest of the hand pudding got pudding yep in general you want to build life and clear board until you got a few 10 costs in play and then they can't handle the pressure yeah but hey he's got another 10 drop so fuck it Four Dawn remaining for Yogurt Dan. Is he going to be able to... Does he use leader ability here? I don't know if he stacked the top of his deck, so... Maybe not worth it if he didn't. Purple Big Mom, okay. Oh yeah, I see that. I see the Purple Big Mom. 
What's going on, Shiki? Happy Saturday. Oh. What's he gonna find? Bond Clay. Oh, he runs Bond Clay too, along with the White Beard. Double Queens? Damn, he had double Queens. Not the best Dofi matchup, no? Uh, when I talk, I talked to the Dofi player very briefly before this round started, and he said that he feels like it's favored for him. So I don't know. But I think in a way he's saying that it's favored because he has the ability to pudding. But it's whether or not the pudding will keep drawing the cards that they need after that pudding, maybe? I don't know. But And it depends also if Dofi can flood board as well, maybe? Ooh, let's go, Shiki. No way. You got a boyfriend. Been spending a lot of time with him. Finally, out of the honeymoon phase. Okay, so honey... So you're saying, like, the honeymoon phase is pretty much, like, when you guys are, like, oh, uh, you know, lovey-dovey and shit like that. But it's, like, can't you technically just always be in the honeymoon phase in a relationship? I've seen, I swear to God, I've seen some couples that are always in the honeymoon phase. You think it is favored towards Dovi. It's favored because of the bodies, but if they keep seeing nine mom removing Dofi's body will slow him down. And like if the Dofi sees ten drop, right? I feel like that's decent. Oh he gives it okay. So this this is always one of the things that I find so interesting, right? Wait, bro. Wait, he has no blocker? Okay. Dude, I was about to say he has no life like is he not healing the life? And he has no blocker? Oh my god, bro. Oh, he's rule sharking. Oh my god. He sharked him. It's fine. Damn. That's rough. That's Oofertons. That's an Oofertons right there. That's a fucking Oofertons. Because he didn't... So he forgot to heal his life, and then he swung. He forgot to heal life and swung. Hey, man, he beat... He beat apparently two or three BYs to get here. Um, he did rule shark one, though, but... Uh, apparently, but, <laughs> but still, <laughs> he beat like two or three BY, so, Arnie's no slouch though, he's, he's a really good player, it's just, I feel like sometimes the, the nerves get to him, I actually I don't even think sometimes, a lot of the times the nerves can get to him, um, he does hit the Dofi, wait, that was a raw hit, he just, or blind, he just blindly hit that, oh, that's crazy. He didn't even set that up, huh? That's a great fucking hit. The hell? Cause he didn't even play anything on turn on one dawn turn, right? Oh, that's crazy. It's not your fault, but you're actually terrified anytime you have packages coming from the States now. You'd be watching the track in two to three time two to three times a time. And half the time it shows up before the tracking even update. Bro, no, I don't blame you, man. It's it's honestly super fucked up. Dude. It's honestly hella fucked up. Understandable. Does he have three cost brooks? He does have three cost brooks. Well, that's a great start for Arnie. That is honestly a great start for Arnie. <clears throat> Three cross Brooks is great to see against this matchup. He does have a Tempest kick in hand. <coughs> Playing poker and typing doesn't mix. <laughs> nah, you good. Ooh, no leader ability. He does go six. If Arnie takes it, he does potentially run into Pudding, 
but normally I I wouldn't even putting this early on uh, because of the fact that you know you'd rather establish those bodies right um, I see so many dofies like even if you do have a ton of cards in hand on this five four dawn turn it's like you'd rather just fucking establish those bodies because it's harder for them to remove earlier on <clears throat> Oh, it's a Whiffertons. Double Jack and Trash with a Sabo. Oh, man. Who's who in a Helmeppo? Oh! Flashbang! The sun, the sun's going crazy outside. Ooh, okay. Who's who? KOing the Weevil. Trashing a Luchi. If, oh no, if only there was a way he could get Jack back from trash. <laughs> but it's a little too slow at this point. <clears throat> right? Um, because next turn he's going to be on 8 Dawn. But yes, I know. I know what you're saying, McDammit. I know. But I feel like it's just it's a little too slow there, because even if he plays if he plays Rebecca next turn, he grabs back the Jack. He can't play down the Jack. But let's see if Dofi's gonna be able to continually swarm the board here. I don't know what Dofi has exactly in hand. It's a little see, but he does have Mihawk. Oh, he has a three-cost Dofi blocker. He could use to stack his deck. He does have the... It looked like he had a Gravity Blade. He could Gravity Blade. Gravity, Gravity Blade might be the tech here. Just Gravity Blade, the Brooks, and the Who's Who. Swing with Leader, Jinbei. But... It's a tough one because the he does have the pieces that he needs for Moria next turn. So we are seeing Dofi Blocker come down instead. Yeah, the <clears throat> if Arnie does have Moria for his eight dawn turn, he would be able to play down Luchi and like the Hell Meppo. But it's crazy, man. We saw Cody. I know a lot of people are probably wondering, like, man, you know, Dofi, um, getting, playing Dofi before started X crazy, this and that, but we did see Cody win with Dofi recently, and there's people who have been finding some success with it in, like, our community tournament, so, you know. We'll see here what Yogurt Dan can do. He's trying to he's trying to stack that life. <laughs> Tough decisions for Dofi. Oh, I do I think I see a Jimbe there. So he is going to try to stack the Jinbei. What's going on, YGJ? Do you pull up? What do you mean? This is the last round. <laughs> Wait, well, yeah, why aren't you playing in this one? So he's going six at leader. Oh, you was at volleyball. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much for the seven months, YGJ. Seven leader ability. Gets out Jinbei. 
He gets the flood board, gets out Moria, and takes back a blocker Dofi. Um, <clears throat> it's so crazy, though, the cycle that you can do. Because if Jinbei was in trash, he could take back a Jinbei. And then keep going. So, 8 Dawn turn. Does he have Moria? He does have a Moria. Arnie does have a Moria. So he's going to be able to blow up two characters this turn, which is not bad. He doesn't have Rebecca in trash. He does have Spandine. So he's not going to be able to get out uh, the full combo wombo with blocker. But at least he can, he can, he can blow up two bodies. Maybe. And get rid of that Dofi blocker and then uh, the standing um, Moria. YGJ is your favorite player. No way. What's going on, Zarissimo? Welcome in. They're lucky you didn't pull a VB for real, dude. Appreciate you tuning in, Zarissimo. What's he going to subtract? Yeah, he's going to subtract Dofi for sure. Got to subtract Dofi, right? Zerissimo with the tier 1 sub. No way, dude. Oh, Yogurt Dan counters. He doesn't want to block. Considering that there is uh, Helmepo in trash, I'm really surprised that he doesn't decide to block right there with it because it's probably going to get blown up. How do other people say it? What the fuck? How else would you say it? You know? Like, come on. Come on, bro. I really appreciate that, man. Welcome in for your first month sub. Hopefully, many more months to come. You now have ad-free viewing to the best original series around, though, man. So, welcome to the crew, brother. Is that not a Moria in his hand? I thought, I thought Arnie had Moria, but... I might be mistaken. Maybe he doesn't want to play Moria. I think that's crazy. Maybe he doesn't. Oh, he has a jack in hand too, actually. I see that. I see the jack. <gasps> or is it Isho? Maybe it's not Moria. Maybe it's Isho. I really can't tell what that 8 cost card is. Don't you have that mat? Because that's my mat. Because <laughs> I brought that mat. What's going on, Cell? Welcome back in. How's Costco? Is it not more? Am I just... Tri Maybe it's not Moria. Maybe that's an Isho. I don't know. He has some kind of A-cost character in his hand. But yeah, we're doing good, so this is the final round right here. OGs know about that, Matt. You knew it, yep. Yeah, that's my Matt, dude. Official Bandai Matt, all right? We're streaming store regionals. Had to, had to bring out the official Bandai Matt, dude. Come on now. Costco's crazy. Apparently, we have another storm coming, so there's a zoo in there. Ooh, everybody's, um, they're, uh... They're stockpiling up. <clears throat> so stressful. Damn. It must have been a shit show to park. Damn, Arnie. Arnie's really contemplating what to do. Should have cut it in half. I'm fucking dead. No, I really I really want the Robin um, Nami playmat so bad. I'm so sad I couldn't get it at Nats. Fucking played played in the main event instead of grinding side events. Man, could have gotten in at Nats. You just trying to get your normal groceries for real? Oh yeah, we were doing dating advice earlier, relationship advice segment. Yeah, does he just like? That's so interesting. 
so he's gonna have to use his tempest like he could have he could have just reduced the cost of like jimbei or the moria and then jacked the jinbei but so now he's forcing to use the tempest kick yeah and then now he's gonna use jack Okay, and then KO the Dofi. Interesting. So he could have he could have gotten rid of two four car. That's so interesting. Okay. Yeah, he could have gotten rid of the two four costs. But hey, it's okay. You're still having the dating chat with your girl? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Watching fights later? Oh, yeah. We're celebrating the boys' birthdays. We'll be celebrating the boys' birthdays. For sure. Damn, dude. Woody, Zarissimo? Why'd you get. You guys are rave slaves or what, huh? Damn. Uh, this is interesting. So we do know that Dofi has Gravity Blade. Both of the Jinbeis stayed on the field, which is not bad. So he does have bodies to swing with. And I think he just keeps pressuring life, huh? Maybe that's the move there. I mean, I don't know. I don't know for sure, though. But you pressure Luchi enough on their life, they're going to run out of counters. It's not going to be a good day. You know it. Are you based in Washington? Yeah, I'm born and raised, TCG Connect. If, if anybody, if anybody from China ever come to Washington, let me know. Yeah, I think he just fucking tack life. Don't get distracted by board. Your boyfriend is actually having you go to escape with him for Halloween. Oh, nice. That's a rave, I'm assuming. They would be forced to play defensive, yep. Can you stay with me? Stay with me? Like, forever? Oh, you have family out there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Let me know if you guys are ever out here. But no, you cannot stay with me. That is a negative. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you cannot stay with me. Want to go to a rave with you? You know what's actually so crazy, dude? You want to know what's so crazy? I've never been to a rave before. I still, I still got my V card when it comes to raves. I have never been to a rave. I've been to concerts. I've been to different festivals, but never a rave. Ooh, he's got 10-drop Kaido, dude. Ooh. I just saw that 10-drop in his hand. All your Vietnamese friends love raving? Yeah, but I'm not a Vietnamese from, from Cali. Ooh, he's attacking board. Wait, what the fuck? He just went 7 into the brooks? Okay. I feel like he, he could have just gone six, too, and that would have been fine. That's interesting. He went seven into it. Eight at who's who? What are these numbers, bro? Eight at leader? And it's Perona? Wait, what, dude? He could have gone sick. What? Oh, shit, dude. If... Sure. He just doesn't establish any body? Uh-oh. That ain't good. <clears throat> Dofi's board's about to... Damn, bro. Dofi's about to lose his board right here. I think maybe he's banking on that 10 Kaido. I 
I think he's he's banking on ten Kaido. Hype finals is interesting. Get Suno is definitely interesting. You're coming to Griffin with you, and the reason we're about to run some One Piece in the pit. <laughs> one Piece meetup at Griffin. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, bro. Holy. Yeah, no, I've not. I've never been to a raid before. But I think it's also because I don't leave the house much. Oh, he's got Tempest. Or does he play more defensive? Because he doesn't have a blocker. In, oh, no, he has Bors. He does have Bors. He does have Bors. Okay, I was thinking for a second that maybe he would take the 2k, but... Um, yeah, no. I know I know exactly what you mean, though, uh, Linda. How, yeah, all the Vietnamese, especially down in California, they love raving. I mean, shit, all the Asians up here love raving too. It's no different. I just fucking game all day. Ooh, and he gets Ice Age. Oh, dude, the 10 Kaido is going to mean nothing. 10 drop Kaido is going to mean nothing. Oh, no, dude. This is, oh, it's looking, oh, yeah. So he did have Moria. No, okay. It might be Jover for Dofi. Uh-oh. This ain't good. He can, yeah, he has another Tempest kick too. That 10 cost Kaido is gonna do nothing. Big turn, yep, big, big turn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he was, he was banking too much on the 10 cost Kaido. He was, he's like, oh, I'm going to play 10 cost Kaido this turn. I don't even know if he has perfume in hand, but yeah. If he could bring him down to zero and then perfume, phew. You just gotta go face. Face is the place. Either way though, hopefully both of these players, they'll be able to get their qualification here regardless of the outcome, but as we as we know, just because you play in the finals doesn't mean that you are guaranteed first and second place. Um. Let's close the door. Yeah. What was that? Oh. Hey, yeah, yeah. I think you you can slide it over. <laughs> yeah. What happened, dude? Dude, I only saw three Ichijis, like, before 5 Dawn. Oh, you're playing Rage? Oh, playing that? Rage and then I played against 2 BYs, and then they saw, I think, three Geckos, and then, and then three Sabos both times. I was like, bro, I suck. <laughs> Damn, dude. Why why are you not playing Luchi anymore? I know. I'm playing Luchi. That was oh, the oh, other people. Oh, 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 That's what hella people are doing. <laughs> hella people going to BY, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. But yeah, I think Dofi, Dofi's in a fuck spot now. Oh, he's just going to pressure life. Eight at life. Wait, does he have perfume? Do you, do you know if he has perfume? I don't know. Knowing Dofi, yeah, maybe. Maybe half of years. So. He's going to seven. Oh, okay. Not eight. Seven, two and a one. Okay, not as bad. Not not terrible. Yeah, Cal Cal said that he was regretting not coming. I he said if it was Phil, then he would regret. And I was like, man, you're gonna regret, bro. It's yeah, only yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> he was like, if I get in, I'm not going to work. I dude, I didn't even know it was that. I didn't even know that it it didn't even fill. Yeah, I would have played. 
You sure? <laughs> they didn't tell me. They didn't fucking tell me it didn't fill until like after it started. I was like, oh, okay. But my deck's 8.5. Because I don't have any tournaments for... Oh, wait. So I already... I built 8.5. Damn. Yeah. The super secret Singapore uh, list? <laughs> no, dude. It's fucking just a bullshit list I cooked up to play against Clyde yesterday. <laughs> so, yeah. Carlos Sparza just retired? Dude, yeah, she was talking about it. it she said that this is going to be her last fight. But did she win or what? Yeah, this is tough. Yogurt Dan's gonna have no character on board. Jack ability. Oh, he just drew another Mori. Oh, he drew Mori off of Jack. Oh, that's just yeah, that's GG's, bro. That's just GG's. You still there? It's okay. They they took a little bit to start, Shin. It's okay, man. It should take me like what? <laughs> Fifteen to get home? <laughs> Yeah, it's about to be it's about to be over. It's about to be over here soon. Vu looks like a raver. Dude, I was telling chat I've never been to a rave before. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I still got my V card when it comes to a rave. No yeah. You guys can't believe it? Been to concerts, been to different music festivals, but not not a rave. Until this year, he said, yeah, YGJ was in chat. He's like, dude, you're coming to a rave with me. <laughs> I, wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't want to go with it. I don't want to go to a rave. Please, please. <laughs> dude, why uh, the fuck Bro, because he's hella happy. <laughs> <laughs> he's hella happy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I got my V card for raves and dungeons. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you have a question? What's up, homo? You never been to a rave, but you only went there for the food. Does it count as good? what? Raves have food? The fuck? Why is my face hella close to the cam? Because it's like Nick Merckx, dude. I'm I'm in the zone, bro. It's like an in, it's an intense moment, you know. Like I could sit back, but you know this is intense. It's the finals, man. Also, I don't have like my eyes are bad, you know. <laughs> I gotta I gotta fucking see what what the cards are. What card is this? Yeah. Is finals Bo three? No. If it was Bo three, I'm leaving after this first round. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you guys. I'm, I'm taking that up. <laughs> Yeah, just the winner of the first round. <laughs> yeah. Winner of game one only. No, yeah, it was, it was tough. Yogurt Dan kind of messed up when he went for board one turn instead of just going for life. Yeah. Tell Joey to post the final ranking. No, I, I've seen him. I've seen him with perfume. I think. Oh, did he? In a different game, but uh, yeah, he did. I don't, I don't think he has it in hand though. Think. Yeah, this is fucked. This is hella fucked for Dofi. And he doesn't have a blocker in hand either. But even if he had a blocker, it's just dead with Jack. His hands are shaking. There's hope, double beige in life. Yeah, right. Why did you? <laughs> Dofi side looks like he just started playing. <laughs> Bro, yeah. Hello, people are like, dude. It looks like the Dofi player is a, is new because he has he doesn't have an alt art leader. Wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they said that round one when he was playing. Yeah, this shit's like two hundred dollars. <laughs> yep, he just blocks it to stay safe. Well, I mean, he's got bodies on the board, but it's just, I mean, yeah, Arnie has a freaking Ice Age and Tempest Kick. He's going to blow up the whole board. Such an unnecessary comment. His hands are shaking. What do you mean, bro? 
No one knows this. <laughs> oh, man. These are the things that commentators should be putting down, dude. You know? Like the... Like the <laughs> Oh shit. Arnie got his hand on his on his neck box, dude. He's kicking it. Yeah, just like just rested, dude. Three cards in hand? Oh, that's GG's. Unless if does Red Rock send any character back on trigger? It's five. It's oh yeah. There's no trigger in blue that sends anything back, right? Yeah, I don't think so. What's going on, Leo? How you doing? Wait, oh, he's playing it safer? Oh, he's playing it safer, okay. Yeah, I mean, he has Ice Age and Tempest Kick. Yeah. If he has Luchi, that board's just gone. Yeah. He might have Luchi. Why GJ doesn't even come to locals? We thought he retired. Oh, really? He doesn't like the game anymore? This guy used to be Grinder. Yeah. Hey, man. I was talking to people about this, though, Getsuno. You know, locals has changed. It's not the same anymore, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the scene ain't the same anymore, bro. Uh, yeah, man. Come on. Come on, Zulu. Pick it up. <laughs> uh, I'm doing good, Leo. Hopefully you're doing good. Oh, he's ditching Ice Age? Oh, no. He's using Ice Age. No, he ditched Ice Age. Yeah, he ditched it. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. And he, then he plays. Oh my god. He's, he's this is it. fucked. Tell him to hurry. Dude, this is. He should just concede. Why are you getting slandered in the chat? <laughs> now you understand how it feels to be me. <laughs> Somebody said, why GJ? Justin says, why GJ kind of bad at the game, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh. Overtime. Yeah, Arnie, stop sandbagging, bro. Shit. Wait, what? I turned off my alarm. Why does it keep going? Who <laughs> gotta go? Wait, bro, the alarm's off. Oh, okay, stop. <laughs> Yeah, that's Jover. That's Jover. Oh. That's over, you guys. Crazy. So Arnie takes it. Lucci is our undefeated player. Uh, curious to see what happens. Thank you for the hydrate. Curious to see what happens in um in the uh, for the standings wise. But yeah, invite for. <laughs> Bro, what is up with chat? Why Jay said, "Let's go, Arnie, J.K. Fuck that guy." That's what I'm saying, dude. That's because, that's because Arnie draws, dude. Arnie does a deck trick every time, bro. He draws like three geckos. Every yeah, time, that was crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, top two gets invite. All right, that is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, dropping a like, and commenting down below. It would really mean a lot. You guys can catch the shenanigans live on twitch.tv backslash Mr. Underscore Voodoo almost daily. And as always, good luck on your guys' pools. Let me know what you got in the comments down below and stay winning.